hello and welcome to this video in this video i will show you a fun little project that i did recently it's a homemade fm radio the main components that are used for this project are rda5807 m fm radio module which can be seen here an arduino nano ky040 encoder which is a 360 degree encoder LCD 16 into 2 I2C square display 10k port for volume control PAM8403 as an audio amplifier and suitable 4 ohm 3 watt speaker this is how the radio works the code in the Arduino detects if the encoder is turned clockwise or anti-clockwise and depending on that it increases a variable called frequency by 0.1f or decreases it by 0.1f this variable is then passed to RDA 5807M FM radio module and it tunes to that frequency the same frequency is displayed here on the LCD display. Both the RDA5807 FM radio module and LCD 16-2 display communicate using I2C communication and that's why the SDA and SCL pins of both these modules are connected to A4 and A5 of Arduino Nano. The output of the radio module in which I'm using just the left out channel because I'm using just one speaker is given to a 10k port for volume control. The variable of the port is connected as an input to PAM8403 audio amplifier. This amplifier is 3 watt plus 3 watt and so a suitable 4 ohm 3 watt speaker is connected to the left channel out of the audio amplifier. I built this circuit on a breadboard and upon successful testing I designed a PCB from the same easyeda.com website. Here you can see the circuit that I built on a PCB. It shows Arduino Nano, RDA 5807M FM module, PAM8403 audio amplifier. 5 volt is given to the DC jack here. These are the speaker connections. This is the antenna. The antenna used is a 5 to 6 feet of a simple long wire. These connections go to the encoder. These connections go to the LCD display. And this is the 10K port. As I said before, the heart of this project is the RDA5807M radio module. It is a very small thumbnail sized FM module. There are no markings on the module and so if you orient the module as shown in the figure here, you can identify the pins and their functions. For example, on the left hand top is SDA and SCL which will be used for communication. The next two pins are not connected and the left hand side bottom pin is VCC. This module uses 3.3 volts input power supply. On the right hand side bottom is the ground of the module. The next two pins are R out and L out which are the audio output from the module. The next pin is not connected and the right hand topmost pin is antenna. As I said before, the antenna is a long wire of approximately 5 to 6 feet. The 
this is the enclosure enclosure that I chose and the PCB is mounted in it the 5 volt adapter is connected to the DC jack here you can see the speaker that I have connected the 16 into 2 LCD I square C display is seen here this is the 10k port for volume control and this is the rotary encoder for changing the frequency this is the final product that can be seen again the left hand side knob is for changing the volume the right hand side knob is for changing the frequency I also made a radio with 0.96 OLED display as can be seen here the difference is also that the earlier module used a long wire as an antenna and here I have installed a telescopic antenna you can choose anything that suits so let's go quickly over to the Arduino board and see what all features are included in it just to give you an idea as I told earlier the rotary encoder can be turned clockwise or anticlockwise the Arduino detects if it is moving in clockwise direction or anticlockwise direction and based on that it will increase or decrease the frequency that frequency is passed on to the RDA 507 M FM radio module and it tunes to that frequency. This happens over I square C communication. Uh, into the code of Arduino. Uh, let us first look at the libraries that are being used. The main library that is uh, being used here is RDA 5807M.h library, which is for the radio module. Radio.h uh, library. Uh, Arduino.h, wire.h for communication. Since I'm using liquid crystal I square C communication, I'm using liquid crystal underscore I square C dot H library. I'm also using EPROM.h because I'm storing the favorite frequency in the EPROM and retrieving it at the startup. I won't be going line by line. Of this code but I will just uh, highlight the important uh, pieces of codes within this code so in this uh, radio I will uh, demonstrate uh, the working of it I'm displaying the frequency on the liquid crystal display in megahertz there is a symbol of an antenna uh, and besides it there is the strength of the signal being displayed and so I've defined some custom characters over here for the symbol and for the strength of the signal. Let me first show you one of uh, the most important codes within this code. It's checking the rotary encoder. This piece of code has been developed by one of the few fellow YouTubers and I will link his work in the description. Please do check it out as well. This piece of code basically checks if the encoder has been rotated in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. So it checks the sequence of pulses coming from the encoder which then decides whether the encoder has been moved in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction and based on the direction the frequency value is either decreased by 0.1 or it is increased by 0.1 this value is then passed to the radio module which um, tunes to the desired frequency now there, is, there are certain settings uh, which are done for the radio itself for example uh, 
you can set the band here i've chosen radio underscore band underscore fm you can check the documentation of the module uh, actually the documentation of the library of that module uh, which will explain this this is a command that sets the frequency of uh, uh, for that module so our variable frequency is passed on uh, here so that the the module tunes to that frequency then there are some other few things like uh, you can set it mute as mute you can set the volume again setting of the best boost it has been made true you can set it off uh, i'm using just the mono not the stereo so set mono has been made true and uh, this is the software muting has been made false so uh, you can check out the the library documentation and you will find all these instructions there like i said before whenever you start the radio uh, the code checks if there is a favorite frequency stored in the EEPROM, and if it is stored then it tunes right away to that favorite frequency if there is no frequency in the EEPROM, like the first time you make this uh, radio and you start it there won't be any uh, frequency stored in the EEPROM. at that time uh, it will store a default value uh, into the uh, EEPROM and retrieve it and try to tune to that if you press the encoder button then that particular frequency to which the radio is tuned at right now will be stored in the EEPROM. Um, and the next time you start the radio next time you power up the radio it will tune to that favorite frequency uh, so there is uh, some code uh, written here which you know writes the frequency to the EEPROM and reads it from the EEPROM um, and such so that's there uh, what more so yes i will give the link to this code um, and you can check it out you can alter it you can edit it you can do whatever you wish to do with the code um, here is the piece of code that uh, takes out the signal strength from the radio module and uh, it is used to display it on the lcd using custom characters so uh, uh, this is about the code um, next couple of uh, video clips i will show how the radio works and uh, i will try to show the different features um, if you have not subscribed to my channel i request you to please do so if you have liked this ra uh, radio project if you like this uh, video then press thumbs up give me some encouragement uh, and thank you very much for watching in the country, COVID-19 has reached the number of COVID-19 from 78 percent. In the past 24 hours, there have been more than 77,000 COVID-19 cases. In the case of the government, the number of COVID-19 has been more than 37,000 cases. The number of COVID-19 has been more than 37,000 cases. And in the past, the number of COVID-19 has been more than 20,000 cases. In the case of the country, the number of COVID-19 has been more than 37,000 cases. एक दशमलव छह चार प्रतिशत रह गई है जो विश्व में सबसे कम दर वाले देशों में शामिल है एक हजार के संक्रमित लोगों की मृत्यु हुई है और मरने वालों की